Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more concept in discrete mathematics that is the law of logics. So in our previous session we have seen the logical equivalence using truth tables. And there is a one more approach for finding the logical equivalence that is with the help of some laws. So that we call it as a loss of logic. Now in this session we will see what are those laws of logic. Okay, so with the help of these things, we can also find the logical equivalence for any kind of uh, formulas, logical formulas or a compound formulas, right? So let's start. So loss of logic. So mainly there will be a loss of logic for both uh, conjunction and the disjunction. So we know that a conjunction, I'll write here. So disjunction, so disjunction corrective is nothing but or conjunction. Uh, one more uh, connective, which will be represented as and. So we'll be writing the loss for both the conjunction as well as for the disjunction. Right. So the first law is idempotent law. Idempotent law. So what is this idempotent law? Idempotent law means so if you apply the disjunction for the same proposition, that will give the same proposition as a result. So wherever you are having the p, we can convert this with p or p. So both it will be same, right? Similarly, conjunction, conjunction also similar. So P and P is logically equivalent to P. And if you find the truth table for this one, you will get the same thing. For example, there is only one uh, proposition. So there will be two combinations. So I'll write it here, true and false. And here I'll write P or P. So what is P or P? True or true? It's a true, false or false. This is a pulp, which is nothing but P, right? So, similarly, and also, conjunction also, right? So, the first law is a item potent law. That means applying the conjunction as well as a disjunction for the same proposition will give the same proposition as a result. And the second one is an identity rule. So sometimes we'll be calling it as a rule, sometimes it will be calling it as a law, right? Both are equal. So the identity rule is P or F is logically equivalent to P. You can observe. So P, so true and false. And if you apply true with false and false with false, what you'll be getting? True, you'll getting false, which is nothing but P. So this one. Similarly, the next one is a conjunction, right? So, P and true will give the P. For example, you can consider here. So, instead of false, if you go with the true and uh, true. So, true and true, it is true. True, false and true, it is false, which is again, it is P. So, obviously, we will be saying, if you perform the conjunction on uh, T, Okay, any single proposition conjunction with T, that T means true, then the result will be P only. So that is called the identity rule or identity law. The next one, dominoes rule. The third one, dominoes rule. So this dominoes rule will also be for both disjunction and conjunction. So P or T, which is logically equivalent to true. P or T. So, for example, P, you will be having true or false. And if you apply the same with the true and the true, so we'll be getting true and true. So, for both cases, we are getting the true. So, P or true, true will give equivalent to true. Similarly, here, P and false always gives a false. P and false will always gives the false. So this is this kind of a rule we call it as a dominoes rule. Okay, item potent, 
identity dominance rules so we need to uh, know all these things because in our further sessions we need to convert or we need to substitute uh, the logical equivalent formula whenever we got this one okay yes the next one fourth associativity rule so what is this associativity rule so p r q r r if there are three propositions if you are having a three propositions which will be equivalent to p r q r r right p r q r r so if you are having this kind of formula you can substitute this one instead of this one or this one instead of this one and coming to the conjunction it will be in the form of p and q and r logically equivalent to p and q and r okay same thing we are applying for both the conjunctions and disjunction so disjunction is r and conjunction is n right so this is the associativity rule mainly important thing this for this we have to use three propositions three propositions and the next one very important distributive rule distributive law or distributive rule right so here also p or q and r so if any formula is in this format that can be written as p or q and q sorry p or r p or q and p or r in this way we can write it okay or uh, this is also similar p or q p and q or r can be written as p or r and q or r so both comes under the distributive law both comes under this distributive law so the same thing how it can be done in conjunction right so if the formula is in this way p and q or r that is logically equivalent to p and q or p and r p and q and p and r so the same thing you can also apply p and uh, sorry p or q and r is logically equivalent to p and r or q and r so both comes under this distributive law and this is most important Okay, remember this most important distributive law. The next one is commutative law or commutative rule. Commutative law or commutative rule. So, which can be written as simple. P or Q is logically equivalent to Q or P. P or Q is logically equivalent to Q or P. Similarly, here P and Q is logically equivalent to Q and P. p and q is logically equivalent to q and p so we have seen in the truth tables if you apply the truth table for p and q and q and p we will be getting the same result okay the same thing happens for the disjunction also p or q also and the next one the next one is absorption absorption so absorption is similar to our associative rule but here we are applying only for two propositions okay so p or p and q p or p and q will be giving the result as p this is called absorption see you can observe this is similar to our sorry distributive law p or q and r p or p and q so but only difference is if it is a distributive law we are have to use the three different propositions but here we are using only two propositions p q p or p and q and similarly here also p and 
P or Q, P and P or Q. This is also same result, we will give the result as a P. So if you uh, draw the truth table for this one, you will be getting an idea. So whatever the truth table we are giving here, so we will getting the P only. Here also whatever the truth table we are getting, giving here and the result of this one will give the P only. So that is called the adsorption, the similarity between distributive law and adsorption. So here we are having a three propositions, but here we are using only two propositions, right? And the next one, next one is also very important. That is a De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law. So what is this De Morgan's law? So applying the negation for any kind of compound formula. So P or Q, negation of P or Q. So which will be equivalent to negation P, negation of R, it will be N and negation Q. So the formula for De Morgan's law is negation of P or Q will be negation P and negation Q. Similarly here also negation of P and Q, it becomes negation P, negation of N, it becomes R and negation Q. So such kind of uh, logical equivalence, we call it as a De Morgan's law. Okay, De Morgan's law. And the next one, negation. 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 So P or negation P. P or negation P. We always use true as a result. True as a result. Similarly, P and negation P will always give false as a result. False as a result. So you can apply the truth table and you can know that, right? And then the next one, so double negation. So we all know that double negation. So applying negation for negation. So negation of negation P which will give the result as a P. So for, there is no question of disjunction and conjunction here. There is no question, right? So we are just applying the neg double negation for any kind of proposition, right? So it can be either compound proposition or a simple proposition. So it will give the same thing as a result. And apart from these things, these rules, so these are all the different law of logics. So we are calling them as a law or rule, right? Idempotent, identity, dominoes, associativity, next uh, um, distributive, commutative, absorption, de Morgan's law, negation, double negation. So all these comes under the law of logics. And apart from this, there are two more. So the logical equivalence for uh, implies and double implies. So which gives a P implies Q can be written as negation P or Q, negation P or Q. And similarly, the next one. So here I'm not writing about the R and N for not dis disjunction and conjunction, right? So the disjunction and conjunction only for nine formulas, uh, uh, right? The next one, P double implies Q can be written as P implies Q and Q implies P. So here also we are not having uh, the formula for both a disjunction and a conjunction. So we can replace P implies Q with a negation P or Q and we can replace P double implies Q with P implies Q and Q implies P. So once again I am repeating all these are the law of logic and very very important for our further concepts. Okay, so just remember all these things. It will be very easy and now in next session we will see how can we apply the logical equivalence without using the truth tables and by using this laws of logic. Okay, so I will stop here. Just remember these 12 rules, 12 rules or we can say it as a laws and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session, like my session. Share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.